All right, good morning, guys. This is Troy from MyEarlHomeSeeds.com. I just want to give you an update or talk a little bit about secession. Here I have one of my raised beds that was actually filled with uh, nothing but sand. So you uh, desert lovers or those who are growing out and growing your stuff out in high desert, this will be interesting for you. Okay, what I'm doing here from a permaculture point of view is preparing the sand to be a growth medium later on for the raised bed. Well, I planted a lot of uh, clover, which is a nitrogen fixing uh, plant. So that will put nitrogen or natural fertilizer into the ground. All right. And, um, and in, in conjunction with that, I have some tubers inside, some purple myelin, purple, purple top myelin turnips. And you can see that uh, right here. And the, the benefit for the purple top myelins is that uh, tubers will make compact soil, will uncompact the soil and make it loose and uh, provide uh, oxygenation into the soil. And it pulls up, because it's a root plant, it will bring the nutrients from the bottom to the top, okay? It will bring the nutrients that are below and bring them to the top of the soil. And uh, that's the benefit of that. So here I'm going to show you one of my purple top myelins that was planted about um, about 30 days ago. And uh, just give me a second and I'll reach inside. You can see the leaves are starting to turn brown. So that lets me know uh, that uh, it's almost time to harvest it. So I just felt today I'm going to go out and harvest it for you. You know that the top of the leaves of the uh, turnips is rich in nutrients. Vitamin A, vitamin B. Uh, B6, vitamin C, and uh, vitamin K. Uh, we take these, uh, we eat these obviously as turnip greens. And we also, from a permaculture view, if you have livestock, you feed them to your animals. Uh, they're prolific growers, as you can see. Lots of leaves here. And uh, huh, let's take a look and see what we got inside here. Here's one of the purple top myelins, and I'm telling you, it's only, it's less than 30 days old. There you go. Absolutely wonderful. And you can get these again at uh, myearlnumseeds.com. We have them in several packages. And this is less than 30 days. And that's a wonderful species there. Wonderful, wonderful species. Uh, also, I wanted to show you something else here. We have the uh, Armenian cucumbers. Armenian cucumbers. And they are just flowering and growing and these are less than these are about three weeks old and we already have baby chooks on them um, we should be harvesting these within the next uh, within the next 30 35 days or so uh, and they're just growing like crazy I mean they are vining as you can see and growing like crazy and again this is not even fertile soil we planted the clover for the nitrogen fixing and we planted some other things inside just to, you know, just to test and see what's going on. So just want to give you an update. There's another purple myelin that's growing in down here. These were put in at different times. I have some carrots inside. It's tubers. Uh, some Carudo carrots that we sell on the, on the website. And we got some other things going on. But this raised bed is not intended to be gardened until next year. And you can just see the green in here. And this is out in the desert. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the information. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.